often, many an iconic horror villain has been made more memorable by donning a terrifying mask on their mug. From Scream to Friday the 13th, these mass murderers and sinister sleuths have used masks as a way to conceal their identity, and in their animosity, have become even more fearful to audiences and the characters they hunt alike. Masks have an in depth history rooted in rituals and ceremonies in cultures all across the globe, so it's no surprise that cinema has a long running trend of masking their killers in the horror genre. So today, we're counting down our picks for the top 5 scariest masks in films. And unfortunately, we won't be including the 2004 epic odyssey White Chicks on this list, even though it's downright terrifying. Sorry guys. <laughs> Make them away downtown. And at number 5, Jigsaw's Pig Mask from Saw. Anthropomorphic pigs have held a significant role in the horror genre for decades now. The 1980 Motel Hell movie may have been the definitive trendsetter, arguably, but perhaps the most memorable is when Jigsaw dons the pig mask, the outfit he'd wear when abducting his victims. In reality, the villain John Kramer is an older man suffering from inoperable cancer, and when he is revealed in the second Saw film, it's hard to imagine him capable of the sinister acts that he pulls off. But in the first Saw movie, nothing is more horrific than when he appears in his pig mask. In addition to that, filmmakers also gave the costume a hood and long matted looking black hair to tie the look together, if you can call that a look. And at number 4, Frank from Donnie Darko. Most people wouldn't classify Donnie Darko as a horror film, but it definitely has a handful of eerie and unsettling moments. And a big part of that eeriness is thanks to Frank the Rabbit, the anti hero who manipulates and guides Donnie to correct the timeline of his universe, ultimately leading to Donnie's death. Despite his goals being noble, he's one hell of a sinister looking figure, and has a pretty sinister way of making things happen. When Donnie asks him about his costume in the movie theater scene, Frank removes his mask to reveal that he has a bullet hole in his right eye. It's later revealed that he's Donnie's older sister. Boyfriend, who runs over Donnie's girlfriend in the alternate timeline, who Donnie avenges by shooting him in the eye. Regardless of the mind fuckery, Frank's mask is without a doubt unsettling, with its metallic sheen, large grinning teeth, contorted ears, and glassy white eyes. Definitely would not want to see that anywhere. Moving on to number three, Hannibal Lecter's mask in Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal's iconic mask in Silence of the Lambs is a lesson in how minimalism can sometimes be more frightening than a complex, gruesome aesthetic. Now, the beauty of Lecter's mask is in its functionality. It's literally preventing Lecter from being able to eat you. Amongst other reasons, it's a mouthpiece that the character wore while in psychiatric care that was meant to prevent him from hiding any devices in his mouth that could aid him in his escape. He also had a history of attacking the staff in the ward, having tricked them on several occasions, one of which led to him removing a nurse's tongue and eating it, of course. In addition to that, Anthony Hopkins' eyes play a major role in selling this simple accessory, boldly depicting the batshit craziness that Hannibal is capable of, all from a look. Up next, number two, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Leatherface has had a few iterations of his mask over the years, but each and every Every one of them have been disturbing. The character's mask is made up of human skin, a combination of human faces stitched together in a grotesque and stomach churning way. And the worst part is, our pal Leatherface relishes in constructing his mask and adores it dearly, making himself a new face because he grew up with a defect and was made fun of. Gross. Actually, I take it back. This is actually the worst part. While the films aren't actually based on a true story, the inspiration for the first 1974 The Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper was a real life serial killer named Ed Gein, who wore masks that were, surprise, surprise, made of real human skin. He would exhume corpses from local cemeteries, and would create trophies and keepsakes from their skin and bones. As a child, he lived with his family on an isolated farm, and his mother preached the immorality of the world to him and his brothers, teaching them that all women, except herself of course, were prostitutes and instruments of the devil. In 1954 and 1957, Geens killed two women, although would later be found insane. He also made objects out of human skin, including a wastebasket, chair seat covers, a corset, a belt made of human nipples, a lampshade made from a human face, and a bunch of other really disgusting things. Though perhaps the inspiration behind Leatherface is much worse than the movie villain himself. Yikes. What can top a mask made out of human skin? Well, our number one spot, Michael Myers from Halloween. Michael Myers and his mask are pretty inseparable when you think of the iconic killer. In 1978, John Carpenter gave us Halloween, a film that would drastically change the way that we looked at the genre, and inspire many a horror film that followed its example. So why does it top our list? Well, similar to our Hannibal Lecter number, the mask is simple, but because of that, it's also got a characteristic of ambiguity to it, making the villain feel that much more soulless and cold. He doesn't seem human, rather a shell of a human, and that's terrifying. The mask itself has a cool story according to the film's production too. It was made out of a William Shatner mask that was painted white and then altered around the eyes and hair, which is actually pretty hilarious. Alright, there we have it friends, which masks and movies do you find to be the scariest? I know we left out a few major iconic ones, including the two that we briefly mentioned in our intro, so if you guys would like us to do a part 2 of this list, make sure you give us a shout in those comments below. If you dug this video, spread the love! Hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more scary lists from horror films to real life spooky tales. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video.